And welcome back to the channel, boo boos. Mm hmm. Now, babies, it is Memorial Day weekend. And you know, like I know, that them popos is out there lurking. Mm hmm. Them checkpoints is gonna be somewhere in your city. So be careful. Okay? I'm gonna say it again. The popos is gonna be lurking. And them checkpoints is going to be somewhere in your city. So be careful. Because over here in my city, it be one right up the street. So now I pull out. I make a quick laugh like, oh, oh, hold up. Got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. The police don't care about what grave site you coming from. Mm-hmm. And RIP to all our loved ones. Nationwide, baby. R.I.P. to all our loved ones. Mm-hmm. But the police don't care. They don't care who you're going to go see, who died up 10 years ago, or who even died last week. They just don't care. At the same time, this officer is not at home enjoying no barbecue with the family, with the kids. They don't get to go to their mother's grave site. So... They don't have no remorse for you. Think about that, okay? Think about when you pass by the police and you like, it's a holiday. They don't care. No, baby, they care. They care. And they even get paid more on a holiday, but they still care. Because who the hell you think you are out here as a criminal, as a criminal, riding around, riding around and you getting it. Riding around and you skitting it. And you got pulled over. Because most of y'all be riding around and y'all be making loud noises in them cars. Them cars be... Well, let's, let's move on because I don't want to go into all that. But Memorial Day weekend, have fun, drink up, pray up. Okay. And have a Desi. A designated driver. Let me say the full word. Designated driver. Okay. Designated driver. Now, as promised, I'm coming to y'all with a tag video. Now, them tag videos be trying to get all into the business. Be want to know what you cooked last week and what you doing next week. Baby, hold on. We going to have to hold on. We gonna, hold on. We're going to do one by one. And I'm going to do a bigger one and a bigger one and get deeper and deeper. Because I was reading some of them tags. I said, oh, mm, baby, I don't know if I want to say all this. I don't know if I want to tell who I slept with last week. Who I slept with last night. But baby, these tag videos are great. And they are a great way for us to get to know one another. Mm-hmm. James Carwell. You know I went to your list scrolling through. Scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling. And I found that tag. Are you mean? Now this week has been a good week for me. I ain't had too much... Too much going on. Too many complications. Too much conflict. Mm-hmm. Not too much. But the week before, the month before that. And the month before that, shit, a year before that. I was being called mean a lot. I was getting called mean about almost every day. Every day. And if they wouldn't call me mean, they was throwing shade. In that direction. Mm-hmm. It got six questions on this tag, so let's get through this quickly. Oh, yes. Number one, how often are you told that you are a mean person? I just answered that, baby. Almost every day. Almost every day. If I'm around a group of people every day, I'm pretty sure I get called mean every day. Okay, I'm pretty sure I get caught mean every day. Now I'm going to get into that later on. I'm going to tell you why because I'm pretty sure these questions are going to ask me why. And I'm going to tell you why. But almost every day. Mm-hmm. But this last week was a good week. Don't forget that. So shit, give me seven days grace period. Grace. <sighs> okay. Number two. What happened to you when you get upset? When I get upset, I do something like this. I might do a little mug, a little stare, a little something. If you my face, if you local, 
Mike going to look at you like, hold on. Then I'm going to go into a bipolar mode, like spaz out, like what the hell just happened? Girl, I'm going to go from literally, you know, you know how they say you go from the church house to the club? Mm -mm. I'm going from the church house to the boxing ring. And that's crazy. That is very crazy because some people like to test you because you be sitting there kind of calm. But when you explode, they be like, what the hell? Hold on, what just, like, hold on, what just happened? You mean, you evil. Mm. I was just sitting there minding my own business. You asked for this. So when I stand up and address you, because I'm going to address you. I'm the wrong person. You fucked up. That ain't nothing. I can't help you on that one, okay? What happens? I explode. Kaboom, ho. You know how they be like, run, run and dive. That's what you got to do. Run and hide, ho. Run and hide and dive and do what you're going to do. Call back up. Call Obama, okay? Number three. Once you get upset, and how long does it take for you to calm down? Now, that depends on the situation. If it deals with money, probably never. Now, you acting funny, I really don't give a fuck. I'm going to check. You be mad for about 30, 45 minutes, and it's over with, okay? But if you're my presence, I'm going to be mad the whole goddamn time you're around me because you need to be calling a cab or an Uber because, trust and believe, I'm not going to be at your motherfucking um destination. Okay, I'm not going to be somewhere around you and your property talking shit. So I know that you somewhere that, that you need to go get the fuck away from me. Okay, that's what you need to do. You you need to get the fuck away from me. You, you need to go. I could be mad for a week, or two, three. If it deal with family. So you come for family, I'm going to attack you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hold off on you for a minute. Question your motherfucking everything. Everything, ho. But at the same time, we're going to be cool. We're going to be cool, girl. We're going to be cool. We're going to be cool, girl. Are there any recurring reasons that people have said that you are mean? This is number four. Any recurring reasons? Yes, the recurring reasons I could think of right off the top of my head is they say I just talk without thinking. They say I don't. Have, like I have no filter they, like I just oh you would say anything that come to your mind it's the truth it's the truth see I'm not going to sit back and think of a lie to tell you about you so if you're doing wrong looking dumb and um I'm acting dumb and I tell you don't call me mean ho just call me real google them words because some of y'all are mistaking them bitch you're wrong. Google that too. Google it, baby. Google it, baby. Pull up your computer, your little iMac, your computer. Okay? And Google them words. Because some of y'all are wrongly mistaken. Truly mistaken. And truly got a lot of people fucked up. Not only me, bitch. The world fucked up. You are just walking around, bitch, on fire. And you don't even know it. Mm-hmm. Okay? That's one of the main reasons. I need to, let's move on. Because I almost got mad thinking about, you know, uh, you know how, like, these questions got you thinking about real life stuff. When you think, like, bitch, I'm going to go smack a hoe tomorrow. Because I got to work tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. Number five. How often do you have mean thoughts? And be honest. Girl. And you said be honest, too. I'm going to be honest. Put my hand on the whole that Bible and I'm not going to tell a lie. No, I'm not. I can be, um, I have mean thoughts every day. Every day. Every day. I have mean thoughts from walking around, seeing someone look a mess. And I'll be like, really? Mean thought? Have mean thoughts walking around, seeing kids look a mess? Really? Mean thoughts? I have mean thoughts when I walk around, seeing people ordering too much food. Really? Mean thoughts? I have mean thoughts every day from social media to the real life. 
And I try not to put these questions on social, about social media so much because people really feel like social media is their life. They feel like, oh, oh my God, I'm just oh, social media is going to deal with all these questions and all my whole description of everything. No, baby. Social media is social media, baby. Social media is a click and social media is an app. So these questions, I try to relate them to my real life walking the streets. Okay? Even though, you know, we all have a little social media conflict and a little social media beef. But, bitch, leave it on there because, bitch, we ain't cooking it. Number six, and let's wrap this up. Who can, um, oh, baby, I don't even want to wanna say this one. Who can make you mad first? Friends or family? Family. Family. And I think that's because it's more family around me than friends at this present time. Because friends come with a lot of BS. And I mean, if you're a friend and you're making me mad, bitch, evidently, you're making me mad like all the time, bitch, it's a problem. It's a problem with me and a problem with you, baby. Some of, one of us and some of us needs to fix this problem. So let's go. So I don't be around people that you make each other mad. I mean, might, might shade each other, might talk a little bit of BS. But it's not really no hardcore mad. My family, bitch, I'm talking about. Oh! Mm. To the point where you want to just, well, to the point where I just, not you just want to, I just do this. Might want to just shelter myself, close myself in my room, or in a room in my home, and tone everyone out. The phone be on bond, right? Because on this iPhone, for some reason, baby, I don't know how to really just get it on shut the fuck up mode. And I don't know if it's for a reason, but I just leave it on vibrate. So I just put it on vibrate. Go into a room, get into my zone, and I space out. Because I'm telling you, my family, oh baby. Hmm. Switching roles. I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. Baby. They be trying to come for you, 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 come for you. And Yaka, when you get the ass, they be like, why you do that? You the blood of my blood. Bitch, you wasn't seeing that last week, oh. So now that I popped off and opened this goddamn can of not give a fuck, I'm wrong? Oh, no. But I'm mean. And that's what I say. I can be mean, ho. And another thing before I go, I guess, I don't know. I might have forgot about this in the questionnaire. But when it comes down to my work and my coinage, me coming to see you and visit you does not mean that I'm being mean. Okay? Oh, let's just get that very fucking clear. If my motherfucking money is calling me and you call me and offer me a plate of food or a drink, mind you, I want it. And mind you, if you're a real goddamn friend, you'll put it in a goddamn plastic bag and have it, have it sitting to the side for the morning. I'm going to work. How the fuck dare you tell me you're going to take a day off, you're going to do this, you work too much. No, bitch, you need to go to work, okay? That's another thing. I'm not going to deal with that. I'm not going to deal with that. So you're not going to say I'm your motherfucking close friend, best friend, and you're questioning my motherfucking every move. Fall back before you be calling me mean tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Maybe in two minutes. You never know. So shut the fuck up. Babies, I love y'all. Be very careful. I want somebody else to do one of these. Do this tag video. Do this tag, ho, and let me see how mean you are. Because these hoes be out here trying you. I know they try you, because they try me every day. And, girl, look, my forehead is start wrinkling up because this motherfucking tag. And girl, this tag got me thinking about, like, 5, 10, 20 past life history stories, baby. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this. Mm -hmm. Love you, babies. And until next time, you already know. Oh, yes, baby. Eat some barbecue for me, for you, girl. Got me a little wine over here. I'm about to finish this little drink, take me a nap, and get ready to go to work. Oh, oh yes. <laughs>